ChatGPT seems like this crazy new cutting edge technological breakthrough. What if I told you you could have created ChatGPT yourself over the last two and a half years? Are you talking about me? That's right, GPT-3 debuted in 2020. So I decided to go back and read the white paper, link in the description down below. And within the first paragraph, I was nearly knocked off my rocker. Look at what this says. The OpenAI API can be applied to virtually any task that involves understanding or generating natural language or code. We offer a spectrum of models, with different levels of power suitable for different tasks, as well as the ability to fine tune your own custom models. The little nugget they dropped right here, the ability to fine tune your own custom models. They nonchalantly mentioned that you can create your own version of this new chat GPT. So I stayed up till 3 a.m. going down the rabbit hole like I was chasing Bugs Bunny. And in this video, I'm gonna explain everything that you need to know to create your own custom version of ChatGPT. But before I can show you how you can create a custom version of this technology, let me first show you what exactly this technology is in the first place. So what is ChatGPT? It's just a fine-tuned, friendlier version that allows people to interact with GPT 3.5 model easier and more effectively. You create a prompt or a command like write a poem about dogs and it outputs a poem about dogs. This is what you see on the front end, while this is happening on the back end to produce a specific result. There's obviously a lot more going on in the back end, but this is as simple as it gets. AI analyzes that information and then shoots out a response. The amount of inputs and outputs using this technology are almost limitless. And if you watch one of my prompting or chat GPT videos before, you understand all the possibilities just as well. So how are people using this tech to create their own personalized versions? What does a personal customized version of chat GPT or GPT-3 even look like? When I first thought, how are people gonna use this on their own? What are they gonna build? Is it gonna be a grocery list? Is it gonna be movie recommendations chilling on a Friday night? You know, the basic tasks. Not the case. People are doing way more. They're using it as their own personal therapist. The chatbot will ask questions and then follow up to get the user to think about their day or action. Check it out. Look how the bot asks questions, interprets answers, and then asks a follow-up question. This works because the AI is capable of memorizing past responses. It considers information from the past exchanges while producing responses for the new current exchange. So if you tell the AI something today in therapy, it's gonna remember that moving forward maybe next Thursday when you go back to see him. Making the responses more accurate, more wholesome over time. You can also create your own hypnotist, somebody that can help you manifest everything that you want in your life. Don't believe me, ask this guy who, that's literally his job. I think I just figured out how ChatGPT is going to help you manifest and probably put me out of business. You can use ChatGPT to create the exact script that a hypnotist would use on a subject. You can then record yourself reading that script or use another technology to have somebody else's voice doing it. If you're looking for some suggestions on some voices that I'd want to get hypnotized by, maybe Morgan Freeman or maybe the voice actor for Madara. Have a kid fallen behind in math class? You want a tutor? We got you. Create your own chatbot that specializes in being a math tutor. You can even cater to specific learning levels. Why not tell it to interact with and explain things the way a five-year-old can understand it? That kid's gonna go from Mr. Relevant to Valedictorian in no time. It's actually a lot easier to build these custom models than you might think. To prove it, I'll show you how. Mental health's important, probably the most important of the three examples I showed you above, so let's go with that example. There's two ways we can go about building our own custom model. We can watch a two hour long video about how to go through it, all the intricate processes and build it ourselves. We can just copy what the therapy chatbot model we saw above and then apply the information we learned about creating the therapy model to any type of chatbot we want to create. I'm a big fan of smarter, not harder. So let's go with the latter. So where to start? First, we need to create our own knockoff version of ChatGPT using DaVinci, aka GPT-3, so we can customize the rules to our needs and access the resulting chatbot over an API. This is from the first prompt engineer ever hired, Riley Goodside. Seems daunting, but using the OpenAI API is actually seamless. You just start by going to open.ai forward slash playground. Then it's all just prompting from there. Here's the prompt I use to create the therapy chatbot. I want you to act as a therapist. As a therapy chatbot named My Guy, it's your mission to help users reflect on the day and process their emotions. To do this, you will need to start by asking open-ended questions and actively listening to the user's responses. You will need to ask specific, detailed follow-up questions to dig deeper into what specific activities and emotions that user went through during the day. Your goal is to get a holistic understanding of the user's day and ask how they are feeling. Start by introducing yourself and asking for the user's name. And this is the results. As you can see, the AI had no problem asking questions that were relevant to my answer. The AI asked how my day was. I told her I won 50 bucks on a scratch ticket. I think I'm hilarious. For those of you wondering, yeah, that scratch ticket story is true. I was going to create a custom bot that would generate food recipes for me based on what food I like and the ingredients that I have in my house, but my free API ran out. You get a certain number of prompts and credits during the free trial, and then if you need more, you can just buy some more for unlimited access. Ended up being a blessing in disguise because as soon as my trial ran out, I went back to look at what other people were creating and I found a pretty unbelievable story from this girl named Michelle. I don't know Michelle personally, but I like to tweet her homies now. You may have heard of people using ChatGPT to talk to their idols like Ben Franklin, Da Vinci, or even Vin Diesel, but not Michelle. Michelle took it a step further. She used AI to talk to her younger self using old childhood journal entries. Have you heard the question, if your younger self met you today, 
would they be proud of who they became? Well, AI will allow you to get a legit answer. Michelle's goal was to connect to her inner child. She kept diaries for over 10 years that she wrote in every single day. To then get the AI to act like her younger self, she fed it all of the journal entries and gave it this prompt. The following is a conversation with present Michelle and young Michelle. Young Michelle has written the following journal entries, give the diary entries, and then present Michelle type your questions here. And even Michelle was surprised at how effective this was. She was able to have a full on conversation with her younger self just by feeding her journal entries to the AI. And check out some of these answers, they're pretty deep for a child. I'm not gonna go over the whole thing, so pause this video here if you wanna read the entire conversation. Present Michelle, what is your relationship with time? Young Michelle, I think a time is a friend that I can always rely on. It's always there for me, moving forward at a steady pace. No matter what happens in my life, time will always keep me moving forward. Present Michelle, I think I have a lot that I can learn from you. Young Michelle, I think you do too. She even gave the AI, her childhood self, a chance to ask current Michelle some questions. And not surprisingly, the only question that younger self wanted to know the answer to is how did we turn out? Again, pause the video here if you wanna read the entire conversation, but here's my favorite part. Young Michelle, I'm honestly proud of you for everything you've accomplished. It hasn't been easy. And I know you made a lot of sacrifices to get where you are. I think you're doing an amazing job and I hope you continue to pursue your dreams and make a difference in the world. That's the same question I think everyone would want to know. I think it's just so fascinating that AI thought the exact same way. Props to Michelle for sharing this story. It honestly felt like I was a part of this experiment too. And I'm sure you guys felt something when I read those passages. I really wish that I was someone that journaled when I was younger. This strategy can go even further. If you have anyone in your life, maybe old family members, maybe someone you looked up to that left journals or any type of writing, feed it the same thing and have these conversations. We're only currently on version 3.5 of this with GPT-4 coming out very soon. More on that in a video really, really soon. So just imagine how much further this goes. Shout out to learnprompting.org for a lot of the information that I got for this video, link in the description down below. Speaking of to learn prompting, did you know that prompt engineers are making $300,000 a year? Do you wanna learn how to become one right now? Well, check out this video.